Nick Colonies from Key Collector Comics reaching out to me saying, damn it, Tom, we got to hit the mic. How you feeling, brother? I feel great. And I, hey, man, I am pumped for this Moon Knight thing. It's right up my alley. I love mythology, classical mythology. And this seems like it's going to be just chock full of it. What's this? Dr. Doom specs, Submariner hints, crocodile gods. I mean, there's so much happening and... We have to hit the mic to tell the community because things are starting to look a little bit clearer. Regardless of how murky the spec waters are getting, hit the subscribe, slap the like button. And Nick, why don't we take them through some of the things we've noticed in this trailer? Tom, I think that there's a lot more going on in this trailer than is immediately evident from just watching it quick. Let's take a deep dive in this trailer, comic fam, because we are finding out more info about Moon Knight by the day. Mark Spector, or Steve as they're calling him, is having trouble sleeping. It's messing with his noggin. Could this mean that he is a fan of sand? I see a moat of sand surrounding his bed. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if he's in the sand or what. But I think that Marvel might be trying to pull the wool over our eyes. Maybe a little sleight of hand. Maybe a smoke screen from Kevin Feige. Possibly a curveball. I get it. I get it, Nick. Something could be a red herring, expect. Tom. This could be a cover-up. This could be a masquerade or some subterfuge. But there's a lot going on. Like what, Nick? Give me something. Because Submariner, we're talking about it every other week. Is there a connection? Pause this video, the trailer, at around 29 seconds. And what do you see in the background there, Tom? Well, to the left of Oscar Isaac, we see a store next to the snack bar that seemingly is called Atlantis. Seems a little on the nose. Well, we know Marvel doesn't just do things willy-nilly. I don't think it's a coincidence that it says Atlantis back there, but I think it's probably more for, like, the press, for the social media circuit to get people talking. Oh, my God. Wow, well, look at Atlantis. We're getting Namor, which, you know, we very likely are. But are we getting Doctor Doom right away? Which is another thing that's been circulating based on this box in this truck, which I don't think actually says Von Doom. And this is what brought me to this trailer to take a closer look at it when I saw it going around that there's a Doctor Doom uh, Easter egg. It's so funny because what's the implication here that Victor Von Doom has actually branded himself and is into distribution in the Moon Knight show? Yeah, he's, you know, he's doing COVID tests, I don't, maybe brake pads or like uh, stainless steel polish. Who knows? But if you take a look closer, you could see that the word is longer. So it's not doom. It's something that's not doom. So I, this is what Marvel does. But there are some definite things that are happening in this trailer that might be mostly overlooked that we can go into and try and figure out what we're going to see. Well, Ethan Hawke, the speculation of who he's going to portray, the villain, the antagonist in this show, has been on radar for quite some time. Could he be Dracula? Could it be Randall Spector, the brother of Mark? Or could he be the Sun King, the Avatar of Ra? And we're getting kind of a mix, an amalgamation of multiple characters, it seems. Right, and... I don't know if it's still the case now, but if you Google Moon Knight cast, it might still say Ethan Hawke, Randall Specter. And I'm not sure where that comes from, but it's the first thing that comes up under Google in the little sidebar. You can take a look. But my money, Tom, is on the Avatar of Ra, the Sun King. But the mystery continues, Nick, because the closed captions on the trailer state that Ethan Hawke's character is a Moon Knight villain from the 80s run that came and went in Marvel Comics, the mad scientist doing experiments on his victims, Dr. Arthur Harrow. Oh, is that confirmed? Yeah, I mean, it was closed captioned. I got the key information from your app. Oh, well, I guess we didn't need to do this video. I guess we're done. Hit the like and subscribe, comic fam. That's it. Just kidding. Rewind Nick. Hit him with the mashup. Okay, about a minute into this trailer, we see Oscar Isaac. He's walking through a museum. It's an Egyptian exhibit. He passes by this statue, which we'll, we'll get to in a second, this golden statue. And he's looking for this the source of this ringing, which is, you know, he finds a phone and a car key. He picks up the phone. He opens it up. It says, unknown caller. And there is a picture an avatar of a crocodile how curious and what's this we get another closed captions a name named layla who could this be nick 
that is the mystery that people have been trying to solve. There's been a couple of speculative things that were thrown out there, but it made me think when I saw that that crocodile, it made me think of something that one of our sources reached out about six months ago. If you have Key Collector, you may have seen it on the spec deck, a character named Dr. Emmett. Dr. Emmett appearing for the first time in Moon Knight number one. And what's curious is her first name is unknown, doesn't even show up on Marvel Wiki, similar to the Sun God. Could this be? Could her first name be Layla, which is what we saw in the closed captions that the caller reaching out to Mark was Layla. And she's the key that sort of brings this whole speculative idea together. Because in issue number three of Moon Knight in 2016, Mark Spector Moon Knight is having a, a delusion. He's seeing his doctor, Dr. Emmett, as this crocodile woman. He sees her as the Egyptian god, the soul eater, the crocodile head, Amit. Right, Tom, and it's creepy. In the comic book, seeing this crocodile-headed woman, Amit, and she eventually um, starts to treat this patient, right? Patient 86. So Dr. Emmett treated Moon Knight. He had this vision of her as a crocodile god, and then she ends up treating this patient 86. Patient 86 doesn't have an identity. We don't really know who he is, but this doctor is fascinated by him and she's on her off time trying to figure out how to, how to help him out. And she finds inspiration at the museum when we see her in the comic book standing in front of the statue of Amun-Ra, one of the main deities in Egyptian mythology, the sun god. And that appears to be the statue that we see when Mark's looking at his reflection in the museum as he's walking by. That's right. And it's just, again, a little too coincidental of Marvel to have this song Day and Night playing, right? When you have Day, Amun-Ra, the sun god, and Night, Konshu, the moon god. That's just a little indicator that these two are being set up to go at it in this television show. Dr. Emmett has a connection with patient 86, someone who would go full possessed by the sun god, up in flames in the hospital in which she is caring for him. She essentially led him to that path. She did, and it doesn't deter her to become a part of his cult when... Uh, he almost killed her. I, I think it really made her a true believer. And he winds up on this island in the comic books, and he has this following. And what do we see in the trailer, Tom? Well, we definitely see Ethan Hawke in a European countryside seemingly being praised by a cult following, a group of individuals who are kneeling down in his presence. Yeah, he's got the robe, you know, very cult leader. That's, where they, that's what they wear. So then Oscar Isaac shows up, right? I'm assuming he got there because that phone call and that key that he pulled out, she said, hey, you got to come and meet us. We got something to talk to you about, whatever it might be. But she is the instigator, this Layla, that brought Moon Knight to Ra. And from there, that's going to be a throwdown. The catalyst being Dr. Emmett. Hot damn, comic fam. This is some alerts that you need to be keeping up with. Key Collector seemingly has called it if this is indeed true. Spec lightly, but spec with knowledge by using Key Collector Comics code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription on the app, get access to key alerts, and the spec deck, which, by the way, is only available if you're signed up for the app in its entirety. Right, Tom. We want to make it very clear that this is not confirmed, it is speculation. Uh, but I do have one more bit of speculation for the end of this trailer where Moon Knight is beating on this creature, which some believe might be Werewolf by Night. I believe that in line with the whole Egyptian mythology that he is fighting Anubis, the jackal god, the god of the dead. Just one of the many Egyptian gods found within Marvel Comics. Nick, Colonies, Key Collector Comics. I appreciate you being here today, brother. 
Thanks for taking this spec break with me today. I hope it was entertaining and hey, maybe enlightening. We'll see. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this Moon Knight spec in the comment section below. It'll enter you to win a Stray Dogs number one, Dog Days 1 in 50 incentive variant. And as always, geek responsibly. Enough said.